Georgia Watcher 317. It is Sunday. I'm at home. I'm in a different venue. I'm in my closet because I have really good lighting in here. And so I'm shooting this video um, just because I feel like the Lord is prompting me to. It's it, it's time to do some of these things, but this is, he's saying do this today. So in my first video, if you've watched that, you know that I'm the executive director of a food bank here in rural Georgia. And that is my perspective for everything. And I've walked with the Lord a long time. He's always used um, visions and dreams, kind of that place between sleep and awake to communicate with me, um, even more so over the last three and a half years. So past September 14th of 2023, I had a very significant dream. This was a dream dream. This was a like totally a sleep dream. And I can delineate between it is something I ate before I went to bed or it's someone that I saw during my day. This was a significant dream. Um, it was a dream from the Lord. And I, anyway, the dream was this. I was in my childhood home and I am, I was the age I am now. And I was standing in the kitchen at the sink where interestingly enough, there was a lot of, um, I cooked a lot as a kid and I baked a lot as a kid. And so I spent a lot of time in the kitchen at that sink. And there is a window there that outlooked, um, it looked out on the property that my parents owned at that time. And we lived in town when I was younger and my parents don't live there anymore. Um, they moved when I was out of college. Um, so I'm standing at this kitchen sink and there's a man standing beside me and he was a cross between Lawrence Fishburne, think the Matrix, and James Earl Jones, the voice of Darth Vader, and I think he just passed away last week. Um, those two men kind of morph together. So a very statuesque man, um, darker complected, um, a light skinned black man, um, long, dark brown robes. He was standing next to me. So I was standing at one side of the sink. He was standing to the other side of the sink. And then there was a counter and another younger black man in what looked like, um, waiter attire. So black pants, white shirt. And he was standing in the spot that when my parents lived there, that was the place that you, you did all the baking. My mom's KitchenAid mixer was there. Um, but that was the spot that you stood in to, to work. So the three of us are standing in a row and we were doing things. I if peeling fruit, I don't really even know. That wasn't important, I don't think. But we were both doing something at the sink and the other kid was doing something at, at the counter. And the man standing next to me said, are you excited? And I said, excited about what? And he said, are you excited about going to Mount Sinai? And... It didn't occur to me that that was unusual <laughs> in my dream, but I, I was, I was very excited. And I said, yes, I'm, I'm going to get to go to Mount Sinai. And he said, yes. And I had enough wherewithal in my dream. And I don't always have the wherewithal in my dreams to ask questions. Like that's not a usual thing for me. Um, I typically just listen to whatever it is or experience whatever it is. And, and that's what it is. Um, but in this particular dream, I asked, when? When am I going to Mount Sinai? And he said, October 5th. Well, because this dream happened last year, I... I definitely watched and waited um, until October 5th to see if anything happened or would happen. Um, and it, it didn't, to my knowledge. There wasn't anything significant on that day for me personally. Um, you know, it is um, in Jewish, uh, it is a Jewish feast time. And this year, interestingly enough, it's at the tail end of Rosh Hashanah um, on the Jewish calendar. So I think it's definitely significant. But, um, I wrote the dream down, as I always do, and I think that's very important, but I shared it with some friends of mine. Um, one woman who I trust emphatically with, um, not necessarily dream interpretation, but she's very, she hears a lot from the Lord. And so when I told her about it, she said, I feel like that's a rapture dream, which I had not necessarily thought about it like that. Um, 
but I, I definitely am thinking about it now in that way. And so I wanted to share that with you. I felt like it was very significant and, um, and very important in this day and time that we are living in. So I hope it's blessed you like it did me. It was very unusual and very wonderful and I loved it. So anyway, um, have a blessed Sunday and we'll talk soon.